So the inside part of the pitless adapter is this piece here, and there's an O-ring that uh, fits inside this groove and is going to seat up against the inside of your well casing. Now this particular hole I drilled in this piece of test pipe was to make sure that this is going to fit in my uh, actual installation. Of course you see it fits perfectly. And this is gonna, the O-ring is going to provide a seal on the inside of your well casing, uh, which is going to be about two and a half foot down. Then of course there's an exterior gasket. It's going to provide some more uh, seal against any sort of groundwater infiltration into your well. And uh, it's going to fit like this with a backing plate that's going to push it up against the outside of the casing. This is curved, of course, to accommodate six inch and up. This is uh, happens to be a six inch piece of pipe, as is our well casing. And it's going to fit, of course, you see how it fits there. It's going to fit and compress that gasket to provide two seals. And of course, there's a locking nut that is going to secure this whole thing. And I'm just going to put it on loose. But um, you see how that works. And of course, your outlet pipe, which in this case is going to be an inch and a quarter out to a utility hydrant or whatever configuration that you have, this is going to be a, a, a not a pressurized system, but just a just an open atmospheric system. It's going to push the water from a depth of about 260 feet from a two horsepower pump, and I don't want any uh, back pressure or any line reduction, so it's going to be uh, basically full bore one and a quarter all the way up from the pump to the utility hydrant outlet. Um, so once this is all secure in the, inside the well casing, it's going to be lowered with this and pushed into the uh, through the hole by the T post that I made. T post adapter. It's going to get pushed in, and then of course all of your well pipe is going to hang below this point. And when you're finished installing it, you basically just going to unscrew your T post puller. So that's the the whole point of the T post puller.